It's Brave Pistol again, and I got a comment in response to my Puss is Nasty blog. <laughs> and someone asked how I sliced off my chin. Basically, I was biking like in the middle of the night thinking I was all hardcore and shit. It had just rained, and I'm trying to get to the 7 Eleven and not get shot and also get a soda because I, I have like a caffeine fix I need to work with. So I'm biking and I, I don't even get far. I hit the corner of my street, of my block, and I hit a subway grate. And it was fine, and then I totally like lost control, and I thought I was gonna catch myself, and I went completely over the handlebars, except for I caught myself with my face. So my face just literally I face planted, and the funny thing is like I didn't feel shit, I didn't feel anything. It was fine, and I got up, you know, and I'm like soldiering out. I'm soldiering out. I'm good. So I stand up and. You know, I think I've just scraped my chin a little bit. I think I've scraped it and I'm fine. So I, you know, pick myself up and you know, I am dripping a little blood, but I'm thinking like, oh, I just got a real bad fucking scrape. And totally not true. So so this dude is like, oh my god, he runs across the street, he's like, are you okay? I'm like, oh B, I'm fine. Don't worry, son. I got it. I'm hardcore. But he's like giving me this look like horrified. Like he just saw a zombie or something. And then I pick myself up, he's like, are you sure? Because I don't think you're fine. And I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. It's just a little strange. And so he walks away, and I pick up my bike, and I'm, I walk back to my house. And I did notice, like, I was dripping a lot of blood. But I thought, you know, you can scrape yourself and you can really bleed. So I get into the house. But it's really dark also. It's dark as shit. So I get in the house, I go to the bathroom, I look in the mirror, and my chin is off from here to here. It's like hanging down this far off my face. So it's like a second mouth. It's completely almost to the bone just hanging down. So I went... And that's when it's like, oh shit, and that's when I started to cry. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. But I, I had like one tear. One tear of like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. I don't have fucking health insurance. This is going to cost me a million dollars to get my chin, you know, replaced. And I don't have the money to get it replaced. So I'm just going to have to have no chin for the rest of my life and be fine with that. But, um, so I went to the emergency room, they put seven stitches in externally and some internally. The doctor who did it was sleepy as shit. I got it done at, um, Howard Hospital, which is good for gunshot wounds, but, um, and I guess apparently bike, bike tragedies and whatnot, too, so. And they did a good job. I don't know, you can still see a little bit, but, I mean, the way it looked, I thought I was marred for life. You know, I thought my chin modeling would be completely over, but I've done several chin strap joints, the and they think I'm great. So, yeah, that's what happened. Break whistle.